Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to discuss about how we can develop Amazon product reviews with the help of Python, right? So basically the libraries that we are going to use are Pandas, Seaborn and Matplotlib. So Matplotlib and Seaborn, both of these libraries are for graphical testing and after that I am going to utilize sentiment intensity analyzer that is a library that is available in nltk right and the reason for that is to be able to you know see if the sentiment is positive or negative so basically our main objective in this video is to do the same so let's get it started the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the libraries so let's write import pandas as pd after that let's import seaborn after that let's import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt after that let's bring in sentiment intensity analyzer there we go so this is the sentiment intensity analyzer and at the end uh, let's run this and let's see if there is some error okay so all of these things are available on my computer and that's why we were able to run it so what is the next thing the next thing is to bring in the you know file that we are going to work with so i have saved it by the name of amazon.txt so let's write data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in this i'm going to write amazon dot txt and after that i am also going to use a delimiter so delimiter is equal to delimiter is equal to tab so slash after that i can also print it out so let's do that in the next slide or the next cell so let's print out head of the data right so data dot head so this is what our data looks like ratings date variation verified reviews and at the end feedback so after getting this what we can do is we can actually uh, write a program to visualize all of this as well so for that let's bring in three things ratings numbers and quantity right so rating will be available in this rating right and when we are talking about number these are the numbers right these are the numbers and what is the quantity these are the quantities okay so we have all of these three things available so we would like uh, ratings dot index as the numbers and ratings dot values these as quantity okay so we are going to focus on the ratings column so ratings is equal to data and in this i am going to write rating after that i am going to write value counts okay so after that i am going to write number is equal to ratings dot index and after that i can say quantity is equal to ratings dot values so after that we can also plot them i'll bring the code for that after this so this is the plotting part in which we have given it a few custom colors and after that we have given it a fixed size of five by five 
and after that we told it to plot it in the form of pie chart and central circle should be around 0 cross 0 its color should be white and then we moved on uh, with plotting the GCF and uh, you know central circle uh, should be after that and then uh, we are going to plot the reviews of Amazon right so let's see it and let's see if okay so it is saying that numbers is not defined so let's say it is number okay so you should have a plot like something like this so what is this plot telling this plot is telling that number of customers that gave uh, you know five star review are these and number of customers that gave two star review are these so as you can see this looks like a very good product so after seeing these what is the next step the next step is we can actually uh, you know sort of analyze the positive negative <coughs> and neutral uh, sentiment of all of these right from the reviews that we have available so if you are familiar with NLTK you might know that we can use the sentiment analyzer here as well so uh, I have already written sentiments is equal to sentiment intensity analyzer now what I will do is I will just pick up each and give it a score so for example what will be the positive score right so positive score will be let's say that the P is positive so positive score will be the sentiment polarity scores position so the first thing here will be the sentiments the analyzer so what is it analyzing it is giving us the a uh, polarity scores okay so polarity scores is something we are getting from it and after that we are going to take each position right so let's write position here and uh, it should be able to run in each of the values so for each of the values in verified reviews so very wide underscore reviews okay so this is the first one and what is the second one uh, it should be the negative and the third one should be the positive uh, sorry neutral right so instead of positive we will write NEG negative for the second one and an EU neutral for the third one so something like this right I have written negative and neutral as well now after doing this what is the next step the next step is to uh, you know write if a sentiment is positive negative or neutral so for that what I'll do is first is I'll make a sum right so x is equal to sum of all the data that is available in the positive right so, so sum of data that is available as a positive review so positive in the same way I can do this for the negative and the neutral part as well so y is equal to sum of data and here I'll say negative and at the end I'm going to say Z e is equal to sum of data and it is the neutral one so neutral okay so after doing all of them what is the next step we can actually perform the score after this as well so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up a b and c as variables in uh, you know function which will be called sentiment score so sentiment underscore score and in this we are going to input a b and c 
as an example of course so if the values of a are greater than b as well as a are greater than c so meaning the value of a is bigger than both so after doing this if this is something then the product has a positive response so print positive after that let's write elif and in this i am going to say if b is greater than a and b is greater than c then considering both we can say that it is a negative response and at the end we can say that print neutral now after this we can just run this with x y and z right so let's write sentiment sorry sentiment underscore score and here i'll write x comma y comma z so the overall sentiment of the product is neutral right so in this way we can do this for any you know product and as you can see it is a very nice way to check the sentiment of any product right so for more videos like this keep watching a sciences